So there's a invisible tile on slide four over the T that goes to slide five. Once you're on slide five, but you don't know it, um, there's one over H. So remember, we're spelling out think. So on the actual game, if you type in the wrong answer, it's never going to get there. But if you type in T H I N K, let's do this slide. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some sort of key lock. Because you know how in the game that I made about China, there's this one with the different numbers to click. Well, in actuality, there's a whole bunch of different slides that have um, the same thing, but they link. And then if you hit the right series of numbers, you go to this slide. Uh, but you can't get there because it's like hidden. So... You just right click on the slide and you hit skip and it'll have this little eyeball with the line through it. So here's our example here. We're going to try to figure out, let's just say this is the wins, winning slide. For our purposes, this is good enough. It's not like that exciting. So yeah, we had it skip. So here it's going to be the key lock, but it's going to be like number or it's going to be letters. So I'm going to make a rectangle. And then I'm going to put... Um, I have a blank thing that loops back to itself here, but these are on top, and, okay, T, that's going to link to this slide, so we're going to select that and go to slide six, okay? Apply. Now it should. If you go here, that should go to slide six. Slide six. So if you hit the correct first one, you'll go to slide six. If not, you hit any other one, you're going to stay where you are. Now, if you get to slide six and you don't know you're on slide six, the next letter is H. Right? So I'm going to grab my invisible thing, control C, copy, and I'll go to slide six and I will control V, paste. Now I'm going to move that to the H. And I don't want it to go to slide six. Uh, I'm going to select this slide and copy it, duplicate it, control D. I want it to go to slide seven. So from here, where I have the H, I'm going to change that and make it go to slide seven, right? TH. Um, T goes to six. H goes to seven. I goes to eight. N goes to nine. And K, we don't want K to go to nine. We want K to go to slide 11 because you win. Now, let's see. We go back to our Google Sites. So it will automatically update. No. Wait. Ah! We get to that one. So, alright. So, the only problem with this is that 
You can't get to that winning slide. Wait, can you? All right, so once you get to it, it won't be hidden anymore or skipped. But each time the website loads, you shouldn't be able to get to the slide that says you win because, oh. All right, so I figured out how to make this game. So on each of these slides, you have this button that goes to the next slide, right? Next slide, and this is previous slide. You can copy and paste those. On this one, all from slide four to eight is the code lock. So they don't know they're on a different slide when they're playing the game. Um, so what I did was, if you press next, when you're on any one of the game slides or any one of the lock slides, it goes to the next page. So here, slide 10 is the next page. So all of these arrows where you have the letters for the lock, all of these arrows go to slide 10. And all of these back arrows, they all go to slide 3. That way, it doesn't just go to the next slide, which they shouldn't know that there are multiple slides when they're on there. So the password is think. So if you type anything else, it won't work. And then this slide is hidden. So if you, you have to get to the you win slide, which is slide nine. So you won't be able to get there unless you get to the last slide, slide eight, and press K.